Good morning, uh, Sharon and Xavier. I uh, wanted to get together with you and enter uh, some of your data for your debt payoff. It sounds like you had a cre some credit cards. So what we'll do is we'll enter your numbers in um, here and see what uh, credit cards you have, what the total balance is, which ones have the highest rate, and how much their payments are. So you'll need to get all that together. That'll add up and show us your total um, amount you're paying out with the 3% minimum payment on all those. Also get the information for your car. And what we'll need is the original loan amount, the rate, how many years, and how many payments. on that. We'll do that on the house, your car, and your credit cards. But what we'll do is we'll start with your value. Um, obviously, usually a refinance or debt consolidation is the best way to do that. I used to do this for eight years when I first got out of college. And um, what you'll do is uh, you'll start with the original value of your um, house. We'll put in a new appraisal or what Zillow.com is showing. Um, the original loan, how much it was for, its actual rate, if it was a 30-year loan. And then that will, we'll figure out what the monthly payment is. And then uh, based on the new appraisal, we can usually get 80% cash out loans for you. Um, I don't really do that anymore, but um, just want to help you figure this out. 280000 would be your max cash out. So if you owed, um, you know, if you owed $186,000 and you could get two hundred eighty, dollars you'd have to pay off the old loan. So we need to know what the balance is to pay it off. The, which would probably be called the payoff balance due. And uh, once we figure that out, then you can go ahead and pay that mortgage off. So we pay that off. We have 280000 Pay off the old loan. We'll have 109000 left. And hopefully we can knock out every single credit card and free up that monthly payment of each of those um, amounts you're, you've been paying. I think this includes the cars as well, um, as seen above up here. Twenty-nine thousand for a car, and in this person's example, we just freed up all their monthly payment. Now they have three thousand two hundred ninety-eight dollars a month to invest towards their future, so they can have a retirement. Um, that's thirty-nine thousand a year. It's four hundred thousand almost every decade. And then what we do is come up here and. Um, you can, you know, we'll kind of run your numbers. Uh, this is now versus new. Most people didn't set up their own solo 401k and IRA. We can do that for husband and wife. And let's say, I don't know what your incomes are, but if you're each making 40,000, I think you said your husband's working part time. So maybe just if that's what you're bringing in, 60,000, then, um, you know, if you just show that for we can sit there and, you know, that's, I don't know what, you're in another country in St. Lucia, but in America, uh, if you're in that bracket, you'd be in the 22% tax bracket roughly. So you would pay, you show, I don't know if you have a mortgage interest deduction or not, hopefully you're getting that, but uh, you have 11,000 deduction and you're showing 49,000. And um, at the 22% tax bracket, you owe 4644 So you're going to pay the government um, roughly $21,000 in taxes. Um, that seems like a lot. But we can, let's run your actual numbers. The whole point is if you start filling up IRAs and 401ks, and then you'll have some deductions that you can take advantage of uh, to reduce your taxable income. Okay, And then the whole point is to get to a retirement here where you have a chunk of money at age 67, and that spins off lifetime income of, say, 55000 or 70000 a year giving you 6000 a month to live on, okay? But we have to put something into the hopper or create a business, um, get a business with this class you're taking. And when you get the gross revenues up, 
say you get it up to be a $2 million business and its margin, like the extra money it makes is if you're making 20% profitability, uh, that'll be a earnings of 400,000. And if you can sell it for three times its value, you can sell it for 1.2 million. And then what we do is come in here and just drop that 1.2 million in. Um, if we can do a tax deferred sale, let's see. Then you could throw all that money in there and we'd have some money working for you to spin off a lifetime income for you. Uh, maybe you need to wait till 72 to have 3 million built up in there, but that would spin off 165,000 a year for life. And that's 13,000 a month. So let's look at what you have going on and we'll go from there.